Hello guys, welcome back to Foxes Abroad. <laughs> Three of us are back together again this week and we're here looking at the carnage of mile 302. So here's where we start discussing things of uh, <laughs> the practical limits of a stock five layer bottom end. Yes, that magic 500 horsepower. So this time that number different yeah, way. There must be something to that number. Yeah, there that must number be. gets thrown around all over the place. 500 horsepower is the practical limit for a stock block, but there's also a 500 horsepower limit, I think, for all the other rotating assembly components. And we're gonna bring in here and show you why. So. Especially when they're stock parts. Yeah, that's right. So factory four inch board. <laughs> so these are a set of the piston rings out of the number seven cylinder, which is the one that was low on compression. This, this is a total seal ring set, before we go any further, where it has a gapless second ring. So that ring goes in the piston groove. This ring goes on top of it, and you offset the gaps so there's no blow-by between the gaps. So what we had, when I pulled the piston out, I pulled it out in my hand, and I felt all these little chunks dropping into my hand. <laughs> <laughs> from the second ring that was shattered. So then I saw this big lip that got wallered out because the top ring had broken and it was sitting here like so, because all I saw from the top was it was a little bit eroded, obviously from going a little bit lean on the number seven cylinder at he one says point. a little bit. <laughs> when it goes lean as yours. <laughs> detonated him. <laughs> so we're getting there, we're getting there. Takes you when you're down every time. So <laughs> it wallowed out the ring groove, broke the number, the second ring into like 12, 15 pieces. Shattered. And they stayed together, which was amazing. So this is where my oil, some of my oil blow by was coming from. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of hard to tell. But this connecting this. rod is a little bit. This rod is bent that way. This, this one rod is, is bent that way. Very, very this one is bent <laughs> that way. This is number four. This is number six. six. Number seven is bent. bent. And what is that? Number eight is bent. Is bent. Yeah. So I bent six of the eight connecting rods in this motor. We're doing well between us. If it's not the block that breaks at 500 horsepower, because doing the math, at 10.8 on the quarter mile at 130 miles an hour is my top trap speed. Based on a 3,200 pound race weight with me in the seat, that's about 540 horsepower according to the calculator. Yeah. So turbocharged with 12 PSI a boost. The mains all look fine. All the bearings, except number one, has a little bit of copper showing because the harmonic balancers get a little jiggy on these. But all the caps are perfect. There's no sign no of, of cap walk anywhere. Like mine. <laughs> so. Yours ran, it didn't walk. <laughs> there's no evidence of any detonation on here or on the block. And this is stock rod bolts. These aren't even ARPs stock rod bolts, not even ARPs. The rod bearings look perfect. It's just all the rods went eh. <laughs> And when it, it went weird is when I think I lost most of my ring seal. Because if you look at the pistons, all the scuffing, because the piston is not square in the bore anymore. It wasn't due to the piston rings butting together because if it was the case, then all eight the pistons would have had the same issue. It's just that this is number eight. It's butted together, but the ring is are stuck in the groove, all the most smooth, all the way around with the piston. So it wasn't a ring gap issue. And it's just at 500 horsepower. Mm -hmm. And stock. You start bending the stock rods. Stock so, yeah. I mean, stock forged pistons, they did pretty darn good. You can see the, the marks on this one from in the past when the spark plug melted. It got burned up. And I think that's from the porcelain dinged it up. But this was number eight. 
Number seven, never had the plug melt down, but I think it just from the, all the oil blow by and reducing the compression, got a little lean. And this is the only one that's like that, where it eroded a little bit at the up right at the 12 o'clock. So you saw the head gasket too, where it was starting. Uh, to... Yeah, I do. I was thinking of that because it was it was showing some signs that it was so, done as well. That's left bank, passenger bank. This is the driver's bank. And that's the one, yeah. You can see where it started to, to get a little shiny, like it started to want to move, but because it was an MLS head gasket, it didn't blow. Or if it was a standard Felpro head gasket, I would have probably blown it out. Probably, yeah. So, but yeah, this is just a... <laughs> Every head gasket. I mean, supposedly you could reuse them. I've never reused these before, but these are kind of a little warped. <laughs> I think they've seen their fair share of use. So, but the engine was together and running and nice, and uh, I'm surprised <laughs> from how that piston ring looked that it was running as well as it did. I mean, in like this, it still ran a 10 because I ran the 10s last year. We drove it back, and I haven't really driven it on the street since. I took it off the road. Yeah. UK, I stopped paying road tax on it. It's been sitting here in the garage. Ever since we've been waiting on the 363 ever since then, because the weather got lousy last year. And uh, now the engine's here. Now we got the 302 out and apart, and this is what we found. So if you guys have any ideas <laughs> or. <laughs> well, it's that magic number, isn't it? It's that 500. I mean, I know people that have cracked blocks and, you know, yeah. as you do. And now we've baked on it, you know, well, just in different ways. It's If it's not the block, it's the rods. The pistons being forged seem to hold up, but... uh, I'm just curious as to how many blocks have been cracked and people didn't realize that the rods were bent too, because it's very possible that some of those came out. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. Once you trash the block, yeah. you're probably just like that. Because I got a box of 1968, these came out of a 68302 block that was cracked a little while ago. And if you you put a straight edge against the bearing surfaces, you can see right about in the middle of the, the piston pin portion, they touch about right in the middle. Both here, sides. Touch about right in the middle. Oops, there it is. That's straight enough. Yeah. All eight of these rods are in really good shape. But you, <laughs> <laughs> you take it to these rods, you line it up on the main cap, and it almost touches the beam down here. I think it actually, it it's yeah. really like, like just kissing it. You barely get a, any kind of feeler gauge in there, but on this side, you touch it and it's almost. <laughs> <laughs> you can put a couple quarters in yeah. there. Yeah. So. <sighs> Pennies, you mean pennies? So, yeah. Pound coin coming back. <laughs> so I've been on my rods. <laughs> and it knocked the ring seal out, and that's why it was smoking. Other than that, I had no idea. So. No, it was good that we pulled it when we did. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting good at this, aren't we? Yeah, right. Just like just well, at the right point at time. Well, at least we'd have to pull it twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Uh, kicking you again. So, yeah. But yeah, well, I mean, I even measured the. If you come over to the block, there's no sign of any cap walk or chatter. No, you can still see the machining grooves and everything. And anything. Let's flip it over. There's a, a ridge at the top because I didn't. When I first put this motor together. It was just going to be a modest 302 rebuild for when I did the coupe before I had dreams of aspirations and started to go turbo and all kinds of weird stuff. And <laughs> Things got out of control. <laughs> like they do. But uh, I didn't know that all of this was stock. <laughs> I honestly didn't. I, I really thought it had at least pistons and rods in it. All I did was a 400 grit dingle ball hone on this and I stuck it back together because this was only like an 87,000 mile engine. Yeah. Now that I got measuring tools, things like that that I didn't have before, this is set up for straight up four inches. And this way is about eh, two and a half thou. I do it vertically. <laughs> if 
five and a half at the worst. So, and then as you go down to the bottom, where it's not that worn, I got maybe two and a half thou clearance. But yeah, so a ring seal was definitely an issue with this engine and with the new one, I'm hoping I'm not gonna have any problems at all. Uh, we hope so. So, but this engine is at least a very good candidate to be rebuilt. So we'll be doing a, a build up on this one sooner or later. We will, yeah, I've got a 347 at home waiting. Yeah, it's good. this is gonna go and hit a Bronco. <laughs> Plus 30 ball, <laughs> job done. <Yeah. laughs> we got some nitrous for it too, that'd be fantastic. We're gonna send it. Send it. We got John's block back in the machine shop. Hey, still no heads and intake. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Uh, just uh, same thing. Still no heads and intake. My pistons are on the way, though. Yeah, no, you're gonna beat me there. I thought for sure my, I was gonna be up and running well before you. Uh, no. Cam's on the way. Yeah, yeah, you'll be. Well, actually, you'll I got to get my sister find out when she's gonna mail that shit. Oh, sorry. Cam's not on the way. <laughs> hey, keep telling her to slow roll it a little yeah. longer. <laughs> but here we are in a good place. So tonight we're going to get hopefully this 363 in the car. Not really going to record that. Groaning. Think, There'll be a lot of groaning. Yeah. yeah. There'll be some complaining, I'm sure. Uh, so, yeah. All of our old backs will get a workout. If you have any opinions on what a, a stock 302 is capable of without over revving it, because this thing was never revved over like. 6300 rpms so and that's why i think everything stayed alive but uh yeah just hit hit up in the comments and uh yeah we'll talk about it